Well, good morning, church, and welcome to part 18 of our mini devotional series titled Therefore, where we're exploring some of the therefores in the Bible in order to find out what they are there for. And we're in Romans chapter 13, verse 5 this morning, where Paul writes the following. He says, therefore, it is necessary to submit to authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also because of conscience. This is a very, very big verse but our question is what is the therefore therefore and it, it would seem that there were some christians in rome uh, that paul was writing to who were kind of agitating a little bit annoyed with the idea that they needed to pay taxes to to caesar and paul's writing to them and he's saying to them hey listen you, you need to pay your taxes all right and and here's the way to think about it theologically Right? You pay your taxes because ultimately God has established every ruler. So by default, therefore, they are God's servants. They serve God either consciously or unconsciously by commending people for doing good and for by punishing people who are doing the wrong thing. And so therefore you need to pay your taxes. All right? Because not only because of the threat of punishment but also because of conscience because you know that ultimately god is standing behind the government so if you're not paying your taxes ultimately you're disobeying god now i'm aware that this verse opens up all sorts of problems for us problems like well what happens if the government is dictatorial what happens if the government persecutes christians or other people for that matter what happens if the government is insisting that we do things that are contrary to the law of Christ? You know, how are we supposed to understand these verses in that particular instance? Well, I think our starting place is to recognize the hierarchy of relationships that God has put in place. And so if the government is doing what they should be doing, they're, they're um, commending people for doing good, they're punishing those people who are doing wrong, then we should wholeheartedly support them and obey them. However, if a government usurps that place and commands us to do something that is contrary to God's law, well then at that point we're actually free, uh, if not indeed obligated, to disobey, to stand against what it is that they are asking us to do, recognizing that there may be consequences for that. For example, think about uh, Peter and John before the Sanhedrin in Acts chapter 4, the Sanhedrin saying, listen, you mustn't preach about Jesus. And they're like, whoa, hold on a second. We can't listen to you because actually we've had a higher command that we need to obey. So where does that leave us? I think the place that it should leave us is on our knees praying for our government that they might rule wisely and with real grace. So why don't we do that together now? Let's pray together. Father, we pray for our government that, that you've established. And we ask that you would give them wisdom and that you would give them grace as they rule. And would you help us to humbly submit ourselves to them? In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. May you walk today bathed in the light of Jesus and may your whole life be a doorway through which others glimpse the power, and the glory and the beauty of God. Thanks so much for connecting. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless.